Welcome back to the Suburban Ford 7 Sports Cave. A lot of eyes will be on that guy today in Minnesota, Calvin Johnson. It's a big week for the Lions. Week two, they lost last week in ugh, disastrous fashion after giving up such a nice lead in San Diego. Guys, when we look at this Lions game, to me, I thought the first game was a must win. I looked at that schedule and how it sets up, and I said, gosh, they really could use a big win on the road to get their season going in the right direction. Started out really nice, and then the Lions did Lions to themselves. When you look at this game, and you look at the schedule coming up, is this a must win for you guys uh, as they take on Adrian Peterson in Minnesota today? Well, I'd hope so. i just like to see the Lions not be the Lions for once. Yeah. Just close out a game, and uh, this will be a good win to get everything rolling for them. I just, I don't, September, it's September. I, I, don't, I don't think there are such things as, as must wins, in this, and I know it's cliche to, to play that kind of balanced road, but. But it's also there, cliche there are, to say that it's a must win. <laughs> hey, by hey. the way, I like this. This is a more comfortable feeling for me. <laughs> yeah, I like this Sam Malone action you got going on here. You got to get the towel over the shoulder. I, I, I know I should. <laughs> you get out there, you got to play, Kit. Uh, but when you, you think about what the Lions offense did and why they were so inefficient in the second half, I mean, obviously the running game needs to continue to get better. But you got one of the best wide receivers in the game, a physical freak of nature, and he gets two targets. Uh, two catches, I think three targets, excuse me. But... I mean, why are, are we going to see this whole, like, wow, we're going to throw it to Calvin like 20 times today? Uh, I don't know, I, 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 when I, watching that last game, I couldn't stop from thinking, like, when in doubt, just throw it in that general direction. You know, let's, the best guy, let him go make a play. And it almost seemed like they were actively avoiding him, which yeah. just made zero sense. I mean, and, you, and you're, you've been in a situation where players are probably looking at each other saying what's going on like yeah is, you know anytime i only got to touch the ball a couple times in a game i was obviously very upset i wanted to, <laughs> to kick the ball no no but anytime you have a talent like that he needs to be he needs to have the ball he's a game changer get the ball in his hands let him do his thing yeah i also look at amir abdul and i say look this guy's the truth this is the future of your running he's back situation He's the truth at what he does i mean look when he gets the ball in his hand he's an electric runner mm -hmm. i mean there's no doubt about that I just don't understand why they're giving Zach Center any touches. Mm -hmm. he, you got that guy in the team for basically special teams purposes. He's not a change of pace back because your change of pace back is Amir Abdullah. And Joyke Bell, if you want to change the pace, is the guy you're going to try to bruise him with. So I'm wondering if the Lions give Amir Abdullah more of that opportunity in first and second down instead of just in those third down, you know, change of pace type, type plays. I'd be kind of curious to see what the scouting report does on Abdul. Like now there's there's some film out on right. him and, and things like that. If guys can maybe start to mark him a little bit differently or, 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 or find kind of ways to contain him a little bit more. Yeah. Obviously, he's a guy, once he gets the ball in open space, he can do, he can do crazy things. You know, he can go out and make a, take it to the house at any yeah. given time. So. Well, you know, and Mike, what about the, the, the punt game? What do you got, uh, Sam Martin? What do you give us an assessment? How how good is Sammy? I think Sammy's good. I think Sammy needs to kick it far and kick it high and not in the end zone. That's easy as that sometimes. You know what? I, you got a you had a good gig, man. You had a good gig. It's not yeah, bad. It, you know, it, it wasn't bad. We got really good at looking busy and pretending <laughs> like we know what we're doing. <laughs> I do that all the time. Right now, I'm gonna pretend like I know what I'm doing, and I'm gonna tell you to get on Twitter and use the hashtag Seven Sports Cave. Ask the analyst is next. These two are gonna answer any and all questions you might have for them. That's coming up next on the Suburban Four Seven Sports Cave.